Hey guys, still there. Welcome to episode 6. Last episode, in case you missed it, I decided to automate the research facility for Science Pack 2. So I have all of my labs here. I have a huge amount of Science Pack 2, which it leads me to having a large overcapacity. So I'm going to add another couple of labs here, just to make sure that I have not wasted any of the production capability. Let's make a little bit of room here. And as I'm going to be completing that expansion to the research facility, I'm probably going to be completing advanced materials processing number two, which will allow me to build a new type of furnace, which is the electric furnace. I'm going to need one more here, like that. Also going to need to extend my power lines a little bit. It's another lap done. Now you could say that I should be using um, these labs on the other side as well. Maybe, but once I'm going to need to produce the next level of science pack, I'm going to have to add another component into that. And I'm not sure if I'm still going to be using production or transport belts at that stage. Let's say that I am. In which case, I'm going to need to make another production belt or transport belt over on the left side to add those units to the labs. But that's probably way down the line. Not going to be anywhere near that anytime soon. So that's going to be my fourth lab, which I believe put me at 12 labs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Add power. There we go. And now all of the extra labs are online. Good. In the meanwhile, I should have a nice supply of those iron, no sorry, steel beams. Yep, here we go. I can now make the electric furnace. Yep, I got a whole bunch of steel beams. Uh, in order to make these, I'm going to have to get advanced circuits. To make advanced circuits, I'm going to need plastic. And there's the problem. I don't know how to make plastic yet. So, um, first things first. Steel furnaces, I believe, are more effective than stone furnaces. They also take up more room. And they start to take up electricity. Sorry, no, they take up more coal, probably. Actually, no, energy consumption is exactly the same. Oh, we need more stone bricks. I was producing a few of those stone bricks here. One. Oh, that's not too many, is it? Nice amount there. Go to work on that. <coughs> Actually, no, these things replace them quite nicely. So let's start at the top. Steel furnaces. Yeah, stone bricks. Stone bricks is mostly the problem at this stage. That's my big bottleneck here. Let's throw in another one. Now these things craft at double the speed that the stone furnace does. Which means that they are more likely to uh, not make it to the end of the line here. Which is fine. Maybe I can shorten that production line a little bit. Add some more stone. Add some more stone there. Those stone bricks really take the production speed out of this. Another steel furnace. There's another one and another one. We're not actually producing anything. I still have a whole bunch of copper ore as well. Let's just throw those in there so that I get rid of it from my inventory. And a few of these things I can feed with more iron. Yeah, that's better. Now we're getting somewhere. 
bunch more stone furnaces. No. <laughs> Steel furnaces. I'll get this right eventually. Another one down here. Uh, down there, okay. Right, so at this point my stone production is starting to become more important, and I don't actually have any kind of stone production going on right now. I have some stone over there. It's not too much, though. Do I have any other? I don't think so. Got a large section of iron ore here. Oh, let's actually start on some new research. Here's plastics. Plastics is going to require oil processing. And I can research that. There. Now, I don't see any other stone areas that I could be able to mine. Up here somewhere. I don't really think so. This is copper again. See if I can build some more. Maybe these things have... Oh, yes they have. They have a lot of stone put in those crates there. Right, so these things are going to go. The crate's going to go. And instead I'm going to build one of those, which I'm going to need some more steel plates for. The thing is, I'm going to have to manually provide those with coal, which is far from ideal, but so be it. Let's just harvest this production belt a little bit. There we go. Now I have about 103 coal. Now I know one of these things is perfectly capable of covering everything, <coughs> but I want to double the production speed here. A little bit of production belt. Add some electricity. Add some box and add a fast inserter. Oh, that was quick. Now I can now use. Um, hang on. I'll get rid of that. I can now build at least some facilities for processing oil, which I'm going to need some more steel plates for and some stone bricks. So, stone is going to be quite essential. Um, you know what, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do this slightly differently here. One there and there. Just give me a base inserter. You got 50 coal, you got 50 coal. We're gonna make it onto a production belt, fast inserter, and a box. Turn this around, add one of those, add a fast inserter, add a few base inserters, and a power line. There we go. Now I can start to expect a nice amount of stone bricks from this section. And meanwhile, let's research some more. Um, yeah, what are we going to research next? I want to go for plastics. Start to work on those steel furnaces. Can I build lights yet? Let's light up the place. That's better. Now I'm getting increasingly worried about an attack because the more you pollute the area, and trust me, I'm doing that plenty with all of those furnaces, 
the more likely you are to get attacked. So I'm worried that sooner or later I'm going to start receiving attacks. And of course I do have that turret set up here, which is far from ideal, because it's only covering one area. I don't have stone walls yet. Um, I can build them, but they take up a lot of bricks in order to do it. Let's see, do we still have some bricks lying about? Yeah, not too many though. As for this thing, still has plenty of coal. Back up north. Get these inserted as well. Can I make another one? No, not enough steel plates. Although I have plenty of those lying about. Right. So I'll have a look at where I can get my oil. Because I don't have that much yet. I believe that the bluish blips... Yeah, here it is. I ran right by it. Oil, 146, 118 yield, 152, and 83. Right, in order to mine that, I need to make one of these, a pump jack. So I'm going to make my coal, sorry, my uh, iron production field right there with a the factory up north. So, away we go. Off to get some more steel beams. There might still be some in here. Nope. There we go. Can make four of these. Might as well take all of that. Plastics is almost done. Let's add another steel furnace here. Insert her that way. Those pump jacks take quite a while to produce. Let's speed that up a little bit. Give this thing some power. I still have three coal left. We need to add a little bit to that. Hoover up some coal here. Uh, copper ore, get rid of all my copper ore that I've consumed by hovering up that stuff. Still got a lot of stone here. Large supply of copper plates. Uh, where is it? Here. Steel furnace. Add coal. Add resources. And that's going to speed up my production of steel plates. Right. Now, with that done, get another pump jack operational. How much is this? 105. But it's a bit out of the way. Okay, now I'm going to need to store stuff. So I'm going to need to build fluid or research fluid handling. Point 0.8 per second, 1.5, point 0.8, 1 1.2, 1 1.5. There. Also going to need to build a few more pipes. And I can now make plastic, which is being produced by having coal and petroleum gas. Um, and they are produced in this thing, the chemical plant. 1 1.2, 1 1.5. Of course, they're going to require power. How can I expand that over here? Just leave a little room for the next production there. Okay, this is the chemical plant. Chemical plant is going to be producing plastic. For that, it's going to require petroleum gas and coal. Now, petroleum gas is not actually being produced by the pump jack. Um, petroleum gas 
is being produced by this thing. So we need to build another chemical plant, actually a few more. Let's produce some electricity or provide some electricity here. It's going to make some underground pipes. The fluid handling is almost done. Now, um, this thing, you see this light blue arrow here. That means that there is the exit for this pump jack. So in order to actually use these resources, I'm going to have to feed them into a chemical plant. Actually, let's make another pump jack. Put it over there. I have to go all the way back as well in order to get more steel beams. Got a nice amount of bricks there. Can use those later. Some of these things are completely out of a job. How much is the pollution for these things? 1.8? 3.6? Okay, that's not good. The more I pollute, the more likely an attack is going to be. Okay, that pump jack is almost done. Fluid handling is almost done. Alright, pump jack completed. Uh, where is it? Here. Oh, that's nice. Okay, let's turn that up north. Where is the exit? There. Okay, that's not exactly what I was hoping for. Up north is where we're going to go. Okay, my underground pipes. One there, goes there. That's where I'm going to add my first chemical plant. This chemical plant is going to be working on producing solid fuels. For that, it's going to require fuel as well as electricity. So now it's producing these things. Petroleum gas, I believe. Or is it? Uh, no, it requires solid fuel. Solid fuel. And for that, it requires light oil. Uh, okay, light oil requires heavy... Really? What am I missing here? Solid fuel requires... Or produces petroleum gas. God, this is confusing. It takes petroleum gas, and this stuff produces crude oil. Oh, right, I see my problem. I need an oil refinery. I was a bit over-enthusiastic here. You cannot just throw that stuff into a chemical plant and hope it works. It just doesn't work that way. Fluid handling is done. Let's go for sulfur processing next so I can build some explosives. Refineries take a nice amount of time to produce. Almost done. There it is. Now, this is a large structure. This thing, of course, requires power. And this is going to produce um, heavy oil, light oil, and petroleum things. Uh, <laughs> what are those again? Okay, whatever. Now, you see the exits here. This is heavy oil, I believe. This is light oil, and this is... Um, Petroleum gas. There it is. So. Let's put two of those things next to each other. Get my pipeline ready to go. And yes, you're going to need power. I know that. Whoops. That thing. Let's see these need to make plastics. 
The thing is I'm going to need to, again, manually throw in coal. Which is not ideal. But I just don't want to have to expand my entire coal line all the way over here. That's going to take forever. What do you mean you don't have any power? That's unusual. There. Now they are getting petroleum gas, I believe. Yeah, if only my refinery would actually be <laughs> getting the re required re resources. That would be useful. Okay, uh, let's add one pipe there. Another underground pipe goes from there to here. And then add that stuff. Your exit was where? Right there, okay. So that shouldn't be too hard, like that. See now, they are producing crude oil and putting it into the refinery. Refinery is outputting it into these things and they are now waiting for coal to be inputted. So let's make it all the way back to the other side and get some coal. Electricity is still holding up. There, that should be coal a plenty. 120 is what I picked up, or 119 if you want to be precise. I can make the electric furnaces, but I cannot yet produce the advanced circuitry, those things, because I don't have any plastic yet. Okay, here you go, 50, 50. Okay, let's put those onto a small-ish production belt, and then add a fast inserter and a box. Again, this is very, very likely to be a very temporary setup. Uh, why are you not taking the plastics? Am I missing anything here? Is that thing too far away or something? Yes, it is. Okay. That explains it. There. Throw it into the box. Now, for some reason, they are not getting any petroleum gas. What? Why is that? Hmm. Maybe because they cannot store it anywhere. Oh, I need more iron plates. Okay. This is getting real tedious. Let's work on new research in the meanwhile. Uh, go for batteries. My inventory is starting to fill up very, very much. Meaning that I may have to ditch some of the stone or copper ore again. Copper ore... Oh, these things are already full. You're not. There. Copper ore. Copper ore. Just want to get rid of all that. Okay, so, let's make a few of these storage tanks. I think that's the problem. I'm not exactly sure. At least I can start to work on these things in a bit. Once I get 10 plastics, I can then start to build electric furnaces which don't require coal anymore. Okay, so I have my storage. Now let's work on getting it there. You need two separate storages, if I got this right. You need one for heavy oil and one for light oil. 
So this is going to be by, let's say, light oil. This is going to be by heavy oil. And some pipes. There. That's all done. And now they're producing plastics again. There. Now I can finally start working on these electric furnaces. It's going to take a while, but they at least produce plastic extremely quickly. These things, though, can take a lot of oil. You can see that bar down at the bottom filling up, but it's going to take forever. Okay. Electric furnaces. Get me another one. Now I can immediately start to replace my stone production with an electric furnace because these things were going to be a headache. Considering I'd have to manually fill this up with coal. This thing is 1.1, 2.9, plenty of stone there. The thing is, they are slightly bigger than their counterparts. These things are, I believe, 2x2. Two two. Um, what was the hotkey for that again? Yeah, I believe they're 2x... There it is, 2x2. Two two. Those new things are larger. I believe they're 3x3. Three three. So I'm going to have to rework some of the production line here. As for their efficiency, their consumption, or their crafting speed is still 2, so it's still the same speed as these things. But they don't require coal, which means a lot less to worry about. Yep, here we go. It's a lot bigger. Ta-da! All done. Now let's slightly adjust this thing. Get that thing out of the way. Over enthusiastic inserter there. Um, box, inserter, exit, done. Here, have some stone. Take it out of my inventory. Get me another steel... No, not the steel furnace. Those things take a lot of time to make. Electric furnaces. There's another one done. Inserter. Exit. Done. Now, I will have to start looking at my power consumption, because these things do take 180 kilowatts. These take that kilowatt consumption from my coal. These things are going to draw directly from my power lines, which means that my power production is something I'm going to have to look at. Oh, wow, these things are actually producing so quick that this inserter cannot keep up. Let's quickly run back to the plastic production. Lots of plastics ready. New research. Um, what to work on next? How about lasers? Or actually, military three is what I need for that. Right? Oh. I'm not anywhere near Military 3 yet. Do I really need that to make the laser turret? Laser turrets require batteries, check, turrets, check, lasers, research. Okay, my fast inserter... Oh, that's the stone furnace that's done. Oh, sorry, the electric furnace. Fast inserter is done. Ta-da! Good. Now... Um, if I'm going to remake this production line to make sure it doesn't take any coal, I'm going to have to restructure it completely. Let's start by breaking down these things down here at the bottom. Let's 
Currently I have a huge overcapacity anyway. Let's take these long head inserters away. Oh crap, my inventory's full. Um let's ditch some of this stuff. Take this, pick it up. Same goes for down here. I got a lot more than I need right now. I should have taken those inserters away first. I never learned. Take the inserters away first. There you go. Right, because what's going on is that if I want to produce or uh, replace these things, I'm going to have to no longer feed them coal, just electricity. So I suppose you could say that the entire coal production or the entire coal line is no longer required here. Meaning that I can double up here. Oh, that's nice. Um, let's work on concrete. Zip. Oh, crap. Full. Before long, this box is going to be full as well. Yep, it's full. I'm going to make this one of those production lines that's running completely on copper. All of this stuff. It means that these things eventually are going to start complaining that they don't have anything. That's okay. This is going to be one big restructure. Crap. Uh, <laughs> okay, fine. I need to ditch something somewhere. This box. Do I still have room for a box at least? There. Take another box. Throw in the coal there. Hoover up all of that copper. You know what? This is going to take quite a while. I'm going to stop this episode here and focus on, let's say, the uh, restructuring of this facility in the next one. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next episode.